Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. I'm life coach JJ Joshua at JJ4FORinsight.com. I have been providing miracle minded spiritual life coaching since 1992. And today I'm offering the topic of sacred responsibility. You might be thinking, I got enough responsibilities, I don't need another one. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to share what it is and what are the benefits for you to embrace this responsibility, which I think is really our first responsibility given to us by our soul, our higher self, whatever you wanna call it, um, from the very beginning. Sacred responsibility is the intention and the action of choosing love over fear, of honoring your heart, honoring your soul, with a choice for love. So sacred responsibility is essentially a choice of love over fear, compassion and understanding over judgment, willingness to communicate over being closed and unavailable to others. Sacred responsibility is open to the blessings, the abundance and the wisdom of the loving mind and the loving heart. It helps all of your responsibilities go better. Yes, we have a long list, especially those that are of you that are parents, homeschooling, tremendous amount of responsibility. But this one is simply practice every day, looking in the mirror in the morning, looking at yourself and saying today, I choose it. I choose the sacred responsibility of nurturing, honoring and demonstrating love in all my thoughts, words, and deeds, instead of fear. Sacred responsibility sits right next to, right next to the mundane of life. Mystical and mundane are right there next to each other at all times. Years ago, like 25 plus years ago, I was in downtown Denver on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. It was a ghost town. The city was just empty. I was there to co-facilitate a workshop and I was unloading my supplies. And I noticed across the street, there was a man, a blind man walking down the street with his stick and his helping dog. And since I was a child, I have been just in awe of how blind people maneuver through city streets, cross you know, big intersections, noisy. How do they do that? They've always held a very special place in my heart with such respect and awe of how one would go about this world blind. I mean, this is a tough life <laughs> to do that blind. It's just mind boggling to me. So they were right across the street and they captured my attention, beautiful uh, German shepherd dog. And they were walking down the street and all of a sudden I heard a sound from the dog that I hadn't heard before any dog make. And the man obviously knew what it was. It was the signal that the dog needed to do his morning business right there on the sidewalk. And so that happened. And the man reached in his pocket and got his little plastic bag out. And then I witnessed the dog grabbing hold of the man's sleeve and gently directing his hand directly over the mess on the sidewalk. So he didn't have to poke around for it and picked it up. And then I watched them, I actually followed them a little bit down the street about a block and a half to the nearest trash can. Now, I know lots of sighted people that don't take that much responsibility for their dog's messes. And in that moment, I was so moved by thinking about the sacred responsibility of cleaning up after ourselves, making the world better for the guy behind you, nothing more unkind than coming across poop on a sidewalk, right? <laughs> And for the dog and the man in this beautiful dance, this dance of sacred responsibility, kindness, compassion, and what they had to go through to learn how to do that. The puppy from very, very young was groomed by several families to become a helping dog. And then he had to learn, well, what every trash can in the world looks like. <laughs> and of course, they had to learn to dance together. Sacred responsibility is a place of deep kindness and powerful intention that no matter what the world deals to you today, no matter what poop you might step in, that the choice, your dominant choice 
is to serve love's purpose in you. When we do that, our higher selves, and I like to call them our higher helpers, can communicate to us more clearly when we're in a state of loving intention than when we're in fear. When we're in fear, we're all closed up and there's no room to receive a higher guidance. The sacred responsibility is practical. It leads you to greater abundance and certainly a much more meaningful life. So I invite you the, to practice it very simply by setting that intention every day. And then when you notice yourself in fear or tension or overwhelm, not feeling loving, I like to literally step back. Take a deep breath. Even if I'm sitting down, I'll just roll my chair back and just take a breath and choose again. That's it. It's just choosing again. Okay, next. You don't judge yourself for getting all entangled in the fear thoughts. No, you just choose again and do the best you can in the next 60 seconds and that after that. So I thank you so much for clicking in today, for joining me. When we all practice sacred responsibility, the world is easier, we have more fun, life is brighter and much more meaningful. Be kind to your mind, ta-ta for now.